everybody welcome back to my channel I came here to show you a couple of cards that I made that I'm going to be sending out I know they're going to go a little bit late but it's better late than never so I made some cards and um, these are going to go out to three specific people that I know that really enjoy Halloween and I haven't made anything in a long time for anyone so this felt good to have an opportunity to make these. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I made. I used this paper stack and I also used, yes, baby. All right. Then I used some paper from this handmade paper um, that I just shared in my last video. So I used this um, twine here. I used this twine that I got from the Maya Road um, scrapbook box, their warehouse box that I shared with you guys. All these have been coming in very handy. So I used that. And then this was from a Prima, from my Prima box that I just shared. It came from this Prima box. It came from this Prima box. And um, then the stickers were from Jolie's. And all I did was I just had the paper and I found the paper stack. I was trying to look for something that kind of looks Halloween-y, kind of spooky. And this paper landed itself greatly to it. It's just really, really Halloween-y. Then um, for this one, I did a little stripey paper of some paper that I had here from another paper stack. The handmade paper. And then these were the Jolie stickers, actually. And then um, I did line the inside. As you can tell with the paper, I glued it in. Then um, I got some more stickers and put in the little bugs and little snake in the sky. And then I have my little note here. And then I got two little, two little things that are going to go out. These are made out of wood, bad to the bone. And then, and trouble is brewing. You will hear my kids. They're going up and down the steps and they're supposed to be upstairs with mommy. So that's what that one looks like. And I wanted to put the feather there and then I just um, used the twine. Okay, so that's this one card that's going to go out. Then the next card is this one and it has the green feather from Prima. I'll, I'll undo it. And this one has um, a ghost that I made. And you guys, I tried many times just to outline one. It just wasn't working. So I just freehanded. It took me three different papers of this kind. I used this, um, the back of it, until I finally got the shape that I wanted. So I, it took me forever to freehand this. Then it was this great sticker that I've had for a very long time. Um, this says Spirit. And I'm trying to find where, what's up with you? I'm trying to see if I have it so I can show you. Was this it? Yeah, it was from um, Kane Company. And it was this um, sticker pack that I had. And it said Spirit. So I went on ahead and pulled the Spirit off. Put a little um, spider. Again, from this paper stack, I got the little animal print. Then I used a little Jolie sticker. I put the little hammered paper, put my note in there, and then I'm going to be adding a few things to go along with this. Thank you, Noah. You look good. You that way you got me. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So now I'm going to close this one up, and I'm going to show you the next one. Okay, and this is my last one. I'll just pull the leaf out. Not the leaf, but the feather. And I'll undo this. Okay. And again, this paper came from the paper stack. And I just thought it was like a cool looking paper. This was a Jolie sticker I got many, many years ago. Then um, some of the paper that I used from the first card, you see this first card right here? When I was cutting it up, I used these right here that I just cut them up so they would fit nicely to do an outline for this one. Then inside this one, I did the animal print again because I thought it was really cute with this pebbled textured handmade paper here and then a little note and then a little spider so it's all very simple but um you know you guys trying to make anything with the kids coming in and out of this room is like bananas <laughs> i'm telling you this is harder than oh my gosh just 
even trying to do dollhouse miniatures with them in here sometimes is very trying and but i'm very pleased with what i was able to make it feels good and these are going to be going out to three specific people that love halloween and i know that they'll enjoy it so i hope you guys enjoyed my little quickies and i will talk to y'all later bye